In this video, I'm sharing my new sleeping position to help prevent your body from moving around when you sleep and ruining your rehab progress. Hey, I'm Meg, and in this series, I'm documenting my journey to recovery from anterior pelvic tilt and chronic pain. Since February, ah, February 19th, 2018, I started my journey and a program um, with a, a real personal coach to help me actually fix my anterior pelvic tilt. What is anterior pelvic tilt really quickly? That's when your hips kind of tilt forward and your gut kind of spills forward and your butt sticks up. And what this does is just, it compromises your whole uh, back and then it makes your core really weak and it's, just, it's bad. So I've been dealing with this issue since 2012, compounded with a bunch of other things. So naturally, I'm finally finding a solution in 2018. So the program is really great. It actually, I get an immediate feedback, immediate progress and response, but I would go to sleep and I would find that all of my progress would be ruined because I would be sleeping in a weird position and I'd wake up with a really stabbing pain and I'd feel like I'd taken two steps forward with the program and then again taking two steps back. So it was really annoying. So I researched this and I found that your body may unconsciously stay put if you just give it some bumper rails. So try this. Grab four pillows. Got one, two, three, four. And then when you sleep, boop, <sighs> make yourself a little cradle. When you have anterior pelvic tilt, you're supposed to put a pillow under your knees so that it trains your hips to be stable while you sleep. So my problem was is that I kept moving around and trying to sleep on my side because I'm a naturally side sleeper. That would always just kind of mess me up. So what I did was I created these bumper rails for myself and I thought, okay, let's just try this out and support my arms here and support my legs here. And then I would have my blanket again, of course. And sometimes my head would kind of tilt back a little bit. So you can change your pillow up to whatever firmness that you like sometimes. I like to use this guy whoop, to help me out and give myself a little cradle for my head. Or I could get another pillow, but I'm lazy. And then I would just sleep like this. So I've been trying this for like three nights now. I've experienced a lot better um, results with this and I'm able to, I'm feeling a lot more mobile. I still feel stiff when I wake up in the morning just like everybody else would naturally feel stiff from just laying there or sleeping, but it's a lot better. So when I wake up, this will sometimes move around and I'll just have to kind of keep this back here. I still really do love sleeping on my side, but the pain <laughs> that I experience when I wake up is a really good motivation for me, the fear, is a really good motivation for me to keep still and just support my body with this little Jesus manger and just making sure that my hips, I can just raise my hips like this to keep training them to, to be more stable instead of pushing them back because that's just the tendency that people have when you have anterior pelvic tilt. It would really impede my progress. That was the major thing of getting getting in the way of me recovering. If you really are a side sleeper, you may find that you will sometimes wake up a little bit. Just reposition yourself, remind yourself that you're gonna wake up in less pain um, or even be pain-free in the morning. <sighs> it's nice, it's really nice. So before it would be get up, stabbing pain. <laughs> <laughs> and try to, you know, make my way downstairs. I'm really glad that I was able to make that breakthrough. So I'm going to keep sleeping like this. So if you're experiencing some setbacks in your rehab training um, because of your sleeping, go ahead and give that a try and uh, let me know how it works out in the comments. I'm on day 45 of my journey and I'll see you guys in the next progress video.